guys. I wanted to try something a little different. I have been venturing into the realm of vintage hairstyling for a while now. The thing that has had my interest for a much longer time is actually vintage fashion. And when I say vintage, I mean kind of mid 20th century. I feel like the fashion from that period is so beautiful, so elegant, very feminine, very pretty. I have been slowly incorporating more and more kind of vintage reproduction or vintage looking pieces into my wardrobe over the past few years and I always really love and enjoy wearing them. Although I do usually style them in a quite modern way, mixed with modern pieces. Every now and then I do kind of put together a full vintage looking, I guess, outfit. So I thought it would be fun if I tried to dress vintage for a week, see how I like it, see if I can actually do it with the wardrobe that I currently have because I didn't want to go out and buy a bunch of new things for this video. I first want to, you know, test the waters. So the thing I am most worried about, I guess, with vintage style clothing and also the reason why I haven't worn like many very full, full on kind of vintage looking outfits in the past is that I'm a bit worried that it might look like a costume, like you're wearing a costume. That is something that shouldn't bother me too much because I used to actually wear costumes out in day-to-day -day life as a teenager. <laughs> but I also remember that I got a lot of attention from that that I didn't really want. It's not what I was looking for. I don't necessarily like attention, like ever, <laughs> pretty much. Although I have to say, even though I've stepped away from wearing costumes on a daily basis, I do still tend to dress a little bit more eccentrically than your typical Dutch woman, which by the way, isn't hard to do at all. Anything more than jeans and a t-shirt is pretty much, you know, will stand out over here. Yes, yeah, so I'm used to getting looks, I guess. Yeah, I feel like I've found a nice balance and I am kind of comfortable in that balance and I feel like I might be tipping it if I go full vintage. So I'm a little bit worried about that and about what people will say, which is honestly a pretty silly and stupid reason for not doing something. So I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, and one more thing I am a little bit worried about as well is besides looking costumey, um, people thinking that I look like an old lady or just very old fashioned, not in a good way. I feel like there is a way of dressing vintage that is young and fresh and there's a way of dressing vintage that's more old lady. And I want to try and stay away from old lady. <laughs> okay, anyways, without further ado, I think it's time to take a look at the clips I shot every day, show you my outfits that I put together. Yeah, let's jump into my week of wearing vintage. These are the clothing pieces that I feel like I could pass off as a vintage or at least vintage style. I'm actually quite convinced that there is more in my wardrobe if I, you know, combine it in the right ways. This I don't think I'm gonna wear this week just because it's quite summery, um, mostly in color. Although this is definitely the most authentic vintage reproduction piece that I have. This skirt is gonna be a lifesaver. <laughs> and then also these pants which I love. These are pretty new in my collection. All right, let's do this. Day one, my first outfit. This was a pretty easy one, in fact, because today also happens to be the day that I am shooting the Beauty Beacons of Fiction episode for Evelyn from The Mummy. So I decided to wear something that is vaguely inspired by her, that kind of resembles an outfit that she wears in the first movie. So yeah, that's why I went for the earth-toned bottoms, a white blouse, she, obviously her outfit is different, but you know, it's vaguely inspired by, and a scarf, and this is actually a wonderful opportunity for me to finally wear my Book of Kells scarf, which I've had for years and never really worn, because I have no idea how to combine it. I actually really like it in this outfit. Trousers, they are come down to here. I'm not wearing shoes today, I'll be completely honest, because I'm staying indoors. I've rolled up the sleeves, because I feel like that makes it look not as um, office-y, maybe. I did decide to add a belt, a little black belt. Let me just get a, bit, a little bit closer. I have decided to keep the hairstyle from the Evie video. I, I've kept most of the makeup. I've just um, taken back my own eyebrows. <laughs> the eyebrows definitely take it way to costume levels. I'm having guests later tonight. Um, kind of curious to see what they will say. Although I have to say these people are used to seeing me 
in all kinds of different ways because they always come over after I've filmed. So yeah, anyways, this is it. Day one. Evie O'Connell inspired outfit. Pretty good so far. I'm quite happy with it. Day two. This is my outfit for today. I am wearing a skirt that comes just below my knees. I'm wearing shoes today. I'm gonna take them off to not wear shoes indoors, but these are the shoes that I'm gonna wear in this outfit today. I'm wearing a knitted shirt, I guess, and I'm wearing a brown belt with gold details. I'm wearing my gold glasses to go along with that as well. I have my hair up in whatever's remaining of yesterday's curls. I decided to pin it up into a bob. The ends weren't looking so good anymore and it is still a little bit fluffy right now because I just brushed it out but I'm hoping this will relax. So that's my face and hair and I was considering wearing this blazer with this outfit because it's a little bit too cold out to be wearing just you know bare arms but I'm not entirely sure I am up for this. I think this is a bit much for me and when I wear the blazer over it I feel like an old lady. I'm trying to avoid that in this journey this week so I do feel like this looks good. I like the way this looks, but indoors, you know, it's not that cool and I can wear just a shirt. I do really like it like this. <laughs> this is my outfit for today. All right, it is day three and I wanted to try something different today. So I am wearing a pencil skirt. Um, I don't think I'll be wearing pencil skirts a lot. Firstly, because I just don't own that many, but I feel like there are other items, bottoms, that are more comfortable and more flattering for my body shape. Today I went with a pencil skirt. It's pretty long. It comes down to just below my knees. I am wearing some <laughs> black tights and heels. Realistically, I'm not sure I'm going to wear these out today because it is raining, so I will probably change into my modern boots. Sorry, just want to be honest here. <laughs> Theoretically, these would be the shoes that I wear with this outfit. Um, I'm wearing a vintage head-me-down sweater. I'm pretty sure this is from the 80s. As for my face, I went for a pretty classic, I guess, 50s glamour makeup with a cat eye and a red lip. I'm wearing my hair straight today because I'm filming hair tutorials. <laughs> so that's why I went for a little bit more of a kind of 60s inspired vibe. I don't know. I feel like this is not one of my strongest outfits. I do think it looks nice, but you know, what decade is this supposed to be? I don't think that's very clear. And also, it's just not one of my personal favorites. It is definitely the least comfortable of everything I've worn so far and I'm not feeling the hairstyle, but yeah, that's a necessity, I'm afraid. So yes, this is my outfit for day three. Oh, before I forget, I did want to mention how my friends reacted <laughs> that came over on day one. Uh, I got loads of compliments from them. They really liked it. Yesterday, my brother came over and he didn't notice anything strange about me, which honestly says more about me than about him. As for people on the streets, I have only been out so far in my neighborhood and I live in a neighborhood with a pretty large Orthodox Jewish community so a woman in a midi skirt and tights and heels isn't a rare sight around here so I don't feel like I'm getting any weird looks or anything that might change <laughs> as soon as I leave this neighborhood so yeah we'll see about that further down the line I am supposed to go to the grocery store today no idea how I'm gonna cycle in these but I also have scouting tonight, so I'm gonna have to change anyway. So I think I'm, I might just go to the grocery store in my scouting uniform. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow with a new outfit. A new day, a new outfit. It is Saturday today and this is what I'm wearing. I have my paperback trousers on again. And I'm wearing a blouse that has a little tie on top. It's short sleeved, which is... Uh, pretty okay I guess it's a warm day today so I'll survive I really really like this combination these two pieces together I have my hair up in a brush out again it's a cheat though this is totally a dry set that I did this morning because I got home pretty late last night and I didn't feel like doing pink curls but yeah I think it turned out pretty nice today so for my makeup I'm wearing again a bit of winged liner here a brown wing this time and I went for a pink lipstick just because I don't want to wear red lipstick every day and I always feel like I don't know I don't feel like wearing red when I'm also wearing brown for some reason I will be changing into these when I go out in a bit but now I'm just in my home slippers but I wanted to say that I'm wearing tights because it's not that warm out yet so yeah that is it for Saturday nice practical outfit because I'm gonna be 
cycling today and doing some housework and stuff like that so i just feel like trousers are a bit more practical and comfortable for that but yeah this is it i really really like this one yesterday's was not my fave this one I will definitely repeat not this week but you know in the future it is now day five and i'm starting to really struggle especially today outfit <laughs> uh since i am trying to you know use new pieces and not reuse pieces too much i picked up this skirt from my parents house yesterday and i believe this was a hand-me-down from my grandma i kind of remember her giving it to me um to reuse the fabric but i haven't yet so it is still intact as it was it looks very hand sewn which is lovely so i paired that with a white blouse but the thing i'm struggling with most is putting together outfits that look nice and fun and young and not too either religious or a kind of girls boarding school headmaster because that's what i feel like <laughs> i feel like oftentimes the first outfit i put on just makes me look yeah very conservative uh, one way or another and I think it has to do with the pieces I use on the one hand but also the colors because I tend to wear very muted colors sexy is never really a look that I go for so I don't mind you know not looking sexy but this is like the other extreme <laughs> I don't feel super comfortable dressing this conservatively either necessarily so I'm I need to find like a middle ground somewhere but I'm starting to struggle and I feel like my outfits are getting worse and worse and worse so i might have to start reusing pieces in a different way of course i've already worn this blouse i wore this in my kind of evie outfit but yeah i honestly also have no idea what shoes to wear with this and i'm probably going to cheat my way around this and wear modern shoes today because i'm going into town and i'm going to be walking for a bit i am a little bit terrified of going into central amsterdam dressed like this because I tend to attract unwanted attention in central Amsterdam anyways, pretty much always. I don't know what it is about me, but I just attract strange people. <laughs> and it absolutely terrifies me and makes me feel very unsafe. So I'm kind of scared. I might just switch out this skirt to that black one. Uh, I don't want to give up, but I don't know. Um, I do like my hair today. It is a rebrush out from yesterday i think it turned out pretty well especially considering i went to the gym this morning so i had to pin it all up to kind of preserve my hair still but it worked and i still feel like it looks pretty nice i just don't know guys i'm struggling <laughs> two more days okay i opted out of the brown skirt i'm wearing this black one again i have some black tights on today and i'm gonna wear these shoes which aren't vintage at all but they are comfortable they are pretty and they go with this outfit <laughs> yeah i feel like today is a little bit of a fail but i'm still trying at least the hair and makeup is good this is it for today all right here is today's outfit it is monday today and i have decided to throw in some bb action because i want to wear something <laughs> that i actually like today and that i feel comfortable in and i'm a little bit over the very 40s 50s type of thing so here is a late 50s early 60s look bb inspired she is my style icon after all so i wanted to do at least one look inspired by her it's a very very simple look just some jeans some nice kind of vintagey looking jeans i'm wearing ballet flats with this look a t-shirt belt and my hair is um the bb style as is my makeup i feel like the glasses are ruining the look a little bit but hey but I'll work with what we've got, so yeah, this is today's look. Practical outfit because I'm gonna be cycling again, going to the grocery store, things like that. Someone's at the door. This is my seventh and final outfit. I am wearing the black skirt again. Sorry, I think it's just my best item, <laughs> aside from maybe the brown paper bag pants. Anyways, I am wearing a burgundy top. Has a little bit of a texture, which is really nice. I'm wearing this belt for shoes. I need to find a better, better way to show you my shoes. Anyways, I'm wearing these burgundy Mary Janes, I guess these are cool. And I think they go perfectly with this outfit. So I'm very happy with this one again. For my makeup, I am wearing a lipstick to match my top. Oh, is there a hole in this top? Oops, I need to mend that. Anyway, I'm wearing a lipstick to match um, black winged eyeliner. I'm wearing these glasses again and for my hair i'm wearing one of the styles from my vintage hairstyles for long straight hair videos yeah i think this is gonna be 
the outfit that I end this week on. Very happy with this one again. <laughs> so here we are at day seven. So what are my takeaways from this? I went through that slump kind of towards the end of the week and I think that is because I simply don't currently have enough items in my wardrobe that I could use to build this these vintage outfits with, you know, if I didn't want to wear the same pieces over and over again. So at a certain point, I started putting together outfits just because they were the next most vintage looking thing in my wardrobe and not necessarily because I love them and wanted to wear them. So I didn't necessarily feel like this was better looking or more flattering than my modern clothing and I started to miss my kind of, you know, more modern outfits. However, the outfits and the pieces that I did actually love, I loved a lot and I felt very good in them and I felt very comfortable. I do feel really pretty in a good vintage looking outfit. So I guess the biggest thing is that the good outfits are very good, but the bad ones are very bad. <laughs> I felt like I needed to take a lot of time in the morning. Well, I did. I needed to take a lot of time in the morning to put my look together head to toe. I am usually very lazy with my hair and my makeup. I have very kind of quick and short routines, especially with my hair. Well, I guess this is a negative point because I don't necessarily want to be spending this much time on the way I look. It's not a priority in my life usually, but it is good because I do like that I looked good. <laughs> I feel like it makes you look respectable in a way and I like that. I did definitely find the vintage style clothing and outfits a lot less practical and a little bit less comfortable than more modern outfits and that is mostly because a cinched in waist, which is pretty much the thing I love the most about these looks, is not suitable for slouching in. <laughs> and I am very used to slouching. I have a very bad posture and I spend most of my days sitting down either behind my desk or on my bicycle. When I sit, I tend to slouch and that is just not comfortable at all with a cinched in waist. On the other hand, that might be a good thing because it's not like slouching is necessarily healthy or anything. <laughs> Another thing I really struggled with this week is putting together outfits that are warm enough. I feel like it's pretty hard to find examples of vintage outfits and especially vintage outfits that I really love that are warm enough for a kind of early spring European weather. Because most of this week it was like around 10, 12 degrees. I was pretty cold at some points. I'm glad that I have a coat um, that is somewhat vintage looking. This is my winter coat and this is the one that I wore the most throughout this week. Now it is definitely not vintage, it's not vintage reproduction, but it is double breasted and it does have that silhouette. It does go with the vintage style pieces, but still all of my outfits were pretty much bare shins, ankles and feet for the most part. Because even with tight nylons, it was still pretty cold. Yeah, speaking of shoes, that's something I struggle with as well. I feel like I just don't have the appropriate vintage looking shoes and all the vintage looking shoes that I do own or you know that I could pass for kind of vintage looking just weren't suitable for this weather. I do definitely want to go looking for more vintage style bottoms mostly. I would really like to get some more circle skirts like really nice flowy big 50 style skirts. I love those and I'm still looking for a nice black waist belt because a belt is what really pulls these outfits together I feel and that's what really gives it that vintage touch. Something really important I completely forgot to talk about. What were people's reactions actually like? Well I am very positively surprised. I didn't get any negative remarks whatsoever. People on the street didn't seem to really care much I guess. I don't feel like I got more stares than I usually do. When I did, I felt like they were not necessarily very negative, just out of interest. The people in my social circle were all very positive and I pretty much only got compliments. Did just want to mention that. I really, really enjoyed trying vintage fashion for a week. So I really hope you enjoyed this video as well, guys. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you'd like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there will be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.